Okay. Today is the 7th of May, 2010. We're at the Maplewood Manor in Boston Spa. My name is Wayne Clark. I'm with the New York State Military Museum in Saratoga Springs, New York. Sir, for the record, would you please state your full name and date and place of birth, please? Joseph John Marks, not born in Albany, New York. And uh, when were you born? Uh, 1925, August the 21st. Okay. And did you, uh, did you attend school in Albany? Yes, they took me down there to get educated. <clears throat> did you uh, com complete high school? No. I, I left in 11th grade because my brother stepped on a landmine in Italy. And uh, when I heard about that, I went right down and uh, quit everything and just enlisted. Okay. All right. And um, let me just go back a, a little bit. Uh, you, I see you went in in September 42. Do you remember where you were when you heard about the attack on Pearl Harbor? Yes, I was riding in the car uh, with my brother. Mm-hmm. And did your did your life change at that point af um, after the attack on Pearl Harbor? Well, yeah, you know, I had it in for the you know what, and uh, I didn't think too much until my brother went in. And uh, now, was your brother uh, drafted or did he enlist? Uh, I I think I think he was drafted. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure. It's just I'm not sure. I was, I was only 16 then, I think. Yeah, mm -hmm. I, was, I was only 16 years old. And okay. Uh, did your family uh, experience any any sort of uh, problems with rationing or anything like that? I didn't Shortages? Know. I wasn't home then. I, I didn't know. Okay. And um, so you went into the Navy. You enlisted in the Navy. Yes, yes. And why did you pick the Navy? Uh... I don't know. Uh, uh, I was probably always interested in boats and uh, and uh, ships. I used to have a, a scrapbook and I'd cut out any pictures I could find about ships uh -huh. and put it in my scrapbook. I remember when the Andrea Doria went down with the Stockholm hitter and uh, most of it, but uh, that's about the only reason. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and, and where did they send you for your basic training? Rhode Island. Was that your first time away from home? Uh, yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And what was basic training like for you? Oh, I enjoyed it. I think it was great. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. And uh, how long did the basic training last? I don't know. I think it lasted about a, uh, must have been about a month, I'd say. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Once you completed your basic, whereabouts did they send you? Did you go for any advanced training at all? Uh, I went to school in Newport News, Virginia on uh, uh, servicing uh, mines and uh, learning to uh, uh, the, uh, what, defuse them okay. and things like that. And then I, I, I then they sent me to uh, Bremington, Washington. They put me on a minesweeper. Mm -hmm. Now, how long was that uh, school they had sent you for to learn about mines? I think it was about three weeks. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. And then they uh, they sent you to Washington. Uh, yes, Bremington, Washington. Uh, that's where the ship was built. Uh, they built. Uh, they built wooden ships there for fishing fleets. Uh huh. And of course, then they changed right over. And uh, the ships are made of wood, uh, so the magnetic mine wouldn't explode. Oh, I see. Mm -hmm. Now, how big was one of those mine sweepers? Oh, they weren't too big. They're, uh, I don't know, maybe 300, 400 feet. Mm -hmm. and, and how big a crew? Yeah, about 30. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So you live right aboard the, the mine sweeper? Oh, yeah, yeah. We were there. What what were your uh, quarters like? Well, they were very good. Quarters were very good. Mm -hmm. I have no complaints. And how about the food? 
food was great. I had no complaint. I never had any complaint with uh, Navy food. Mm -hmm. No, there no complaint at all. Mm -hmm. And when you went out to sea, how long were you out there for at a time? Uh, we were out for quite a while. Uh, our longest trip, I think, was from uh, San Francisco to Pearl. Uh, we picked up three other minesweepers and a tanker mm -hmm. and headed for Pearl. And then the minesweepers, one went this way, one went this way, and one went this way. <laughs> okay. And did you encounter any mines at all mm. during that uh, trip out to Not, Pearl? No. Uh, the Japanese didn't use too much on mines. Uh, we were on the anti-sub patrol and uh, we did uh, have some contact uh, with the Jap subs and they did blow a ship up near us. We were with an uh, Australian a PBY flying boat and they'd make the crews around and if they spotted a sub they'd call us and we'd go right out. Mm -hmm. uh, and they did uh, torpedo a ship near us and we picked up a lot of survivors. Okay. We took them in the Sula, in the Fiji Islands. Did you, uh, <clears throat> did you spend any time ashore? Not in really. The, in Fiji? Oh, yeah. Uh, they, uh, you spend 18 months and then they give you an R&R. &R. Uh -huh. I get a 30 day leave. Now it says here you, you helped uh, you helped rescue some of those uh, sailors. Yes. D did you receive any sort of award or no. recognition for that? No. I jumped right in the water. Uh, mm -hmm. I was an was a expert swimmer. I lived in the water home. Mm -hmm. And uh, it was a troop transport and all the army guys had all their gear on which was pulling them down. Half of them they couldn't swim, uh -huh. uh, so three or four of us were good swimmers. We took off our clothes and our boots, and then we'd pull them over to the side of the ship, and then they'd pick them up and put them on board. Uh -huh. Wow. We never got nothing for it. I didn't no. want nothing, nothing. Um, did you uh, travel to any of the other islands besides Fiji? Yes, we picked up a British uh, freighter. We call them rust bottoms, and they're picking up a uh, cobra. They had to go to each island, pick up, it took about 1,100 ton, and uh, we had to go to, well, it was good in one way, because we got to see all the rest of the islands, mm -hmm. and she had to go from uh, uh, down there all the way back up to Seattle, and I hope it made it, because she'd only make about nine knots. Uh-huh. And how fast did your ship travel? Probably top speed was about 16 knots or so. We had two 500 horsepower diesels in it, and uh, it seemed go along pretty good. Probably uh -huh. about 16 knots was tops. Uh huh. Now um, you you mentioned the uh, the Japanese sub. What about uh, other ships, battleships? Any encounters with with them at all? No. Uh, we were out like in an outpost all by ourselves. Uh -huh. uh, and that's why we were out there, because the Japs were going in and out those islands with the sub, and that's where they'd hide. And that's why we were stationed there. Okay. Did you, uh, did you see any kamikazes at all? Uh, no, we had a couple of radar things, but nothing ever developed. Uh-huh. The only guns we had up on the bridge was old, uh, uh, 1918 Air Service 30 caliber Lewis's. Oh, that's all you had? Yeah, when, uh, we had a three inch uh, gun on the deck. That's when we first went in. Uh, and then we had, uh, then we got some uh, two 20 millimeters uh, on each side of the ship. But that's about all we had in Ireland. Mm -hmm. Now, you were, you were in the Pacific for how long? Uh, I was in there about two years. So, before I got transferred. So you must have uh, accumulated quite a few points. Oh, yeah, yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And while you were over there, did you, uh, did you ever see any uh, entertainment like USO shows? or? I seen one. Uh, I'm trying to remember. I don't know where it was. It was on 
from Munda or something there. And uh, we had a movie outside. Uh, you know, they show movies outside. And uh, that's about the only thing I remember. Mm -hmm. And uh, what about uh, tropical diseases? Any problems like malaria or uh, anything like that? Uh, I had something, uh, but I went to my feet and all my toes turned black like. And they took care of it for me. They didn't last long. But that's why uh, uh, I always stayed on this ship. I was never interested in going on shore anywhere. Uh -huh. uh, Anywhere, so I'd, uh, I didn't want to go on shore. I, I like to see. I'd rather be at sea than on land. Mm -hmm. Yep. Mm -hmm. Now, you mentioned being transferred. Yes. You want to tell us about that? Uh, well, I went home and then I went to Treasure Island uh, in San Francisco. And the war was still on? Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. And then. Uh, it put me aboard a general class uh, troop carrier, and uh, I was on that for two years. Just picking up troops and taking wounded troops back to the States. Uh, was that from the Pacific? Uh, we were in every ocean. I went across the Pacific nine times, and I don't know how many times we went across the Atlantic. Okay. Now. Wasn't there some sort of ceremony that, uh, like, when you crossed the equator? Oh, yeah. I went on through that. What was that like? Oh, it's just... Oh, they put soap on you and put grease <laughs> on you and everything, things like that. Uh, I didn't know where my card is. Yeah, I was going to ask you if you still had the card. Uh, well, uh, so I just left at my house here. And I had all my stuff in the box, but uh, they, they don't know what they are, so they probably just went, oh. mm. that was the end of them. Mm. Okay. Yes. Now, so you you picked up a lot of troops and transported them back to the States? Back to the States, yes. Mm -hmm. Now, did you, what was the name of that ship? Uh, General Callan. Okay. Did you, did you like that? Uh, more than the, the minesweeper you were on? Well, uh, it was a bigger ship, but it was more uh, like luxuries on it, you know? Uh, mm -hmm. uh, but I liked the minesweeper. It was more like being at sea. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. There'd be holes showing. The ones, the kids today, uh, they never pulled a long oar in a lifeboat. Or they never uh, holy stone the deck. They really don't know what the Navy's about today. Uh -huh. They say they got girls on ships and everything. Yeah. I don't go for that. Now, uh, <clears throat> what was your job on, on this second ship? Uh, I was in engineering. I was on the engine room. Okay. Mm -hmm. Was was uh, that training like on the job? Yes, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Do you recall where you were when you heard about the death of President Roosevelt? I think I was on watch. Uh, let's see, I think I had the 8 to 12 watch there under the selling plants, and they made fresh water for the ship. Uh -huh. uh, I think it was either him I heard or President Truman was talking. Mm -hmm. Usually out there, stuff like that, uh, we don't pay any attention to anything like that. Uh -huh. uh, it's, it's, it's got nothing to do with us. So, mm -hmm. yeah. I was on there two years and never even seen the captain. <laughs> <laughs> now, uh, do, you re do you recall what it, where you were when you heard about the war ending in, the, in Europe? Were you... Uh, what? We were taking troops from Europe uh, down through the middle of the Atlantic Ocean and through the canal for the invasion of uh, Japan. Oh, okay. And, and they didn't feel very good either. No. <laughs> so th that's where you were when, when they dropped the atomic bomb? We were out in the middle of the Atlantic Ocean and uh, uh, they came over with the loudspeaker and said we're taking them into, uh, uh, I can't think, down in Virginia somewhere. Uh, 
I think it was Richmond, Virginia. I'm not sure. Okay. But they're changing course and, and taking them in their, in their Richmond, Virginia, that I remember. Okay. And uh, was there a lot of celebration when the war ended? Uh, what, on the ship? Yeah. Uh, no, not really. No? But, well, the troops said, yeah, when they were when they noticed that, that they were going into America then, yeah, they, they were throwing their guns away and everything. Oh, jeez. <laughs> they were hollering and yelling and cheering and everything. To me, it didn't mean nothing to me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now, let's see. You you were discharged in 19, September 46. Yes. Okay, so you uh, you were in for over a year after the the war had ended. Yes. Mm -hmm. What were you doing during that period of time? I was still on that ship, mm -hmm. but not for very long. They, uh, we decommissioned it. Uh huh. We, and uh, and I went from there. They sent me uh, here uh, to New York State to the Great Lakes to be discharged up there. Well, I wasn't going to be discharged. Uh, they put me on a ship in Chesapeake Bay uh, to Norton Sound. It was a seaplane tender, and they were going down to Antarctica. They wanted to take a uh, task force down there in icy cold water and do some maneuvers. But uh, I went off the ship because uh, my time was up. Uh -huh. I was going to uh, sign right up for another hitch, and I got a letter from my mother. Uh, they needed me home, so I took the discharge and went home. Okay. When uh, when you got back home, did you uh, did you make use of the GI Bill at all, or the fifty two twenty club? No. Did you go right right to work or? No, I I lived alone for nine years. Okay. Mm. All right. Did you uh, did you end up getting your high school diploma? Uh, no, I got a, uh, my last ship, I got a diploma, uh, I don't know what they call it. Like a GED? Yeah, that's what, yes, I have that, yes. Okay. Yeah. All right, so you got home from the service, did you take a job? Oh, eventually I did, yeah. Yeah. I took a job. What, what kind of work did you do? Mm -hmm. I went to work for, uh, 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 like a Simmons Machine Tool Company, uh -huh. uh, as an electrician, uh, industrial electrician, they're going to teach me that. Oh, so you went through a on a job training training program? course? Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. And uh, did you stay in contact with anyone you were in the service with? Uh, no, because most of the fellows I knew, they're all from the Midwest, uh -huh. and I didn't. Uh, we just went, that's all. Did you uh, ever attend any reunions or anything like that? No, no. Did you join any uh, veterans organizations? I was invited to join one right here in Boston. And uh, I never went for that. Uh, I didn't go for that stuff, no. Mm -hmm. I, more or less, I was more or less, my mother always said, you're a loner. I'd rather be alone. Uh, than be with people, uh -huh. uh, and I was always like that. Okay. Um, how do you think your time in the service changed or affected your life? Affected my what? Uh, changed or affected your life? Uh, I think it was all for the good. Mm -hmm. I loved it. I loved it. I was, I was going to stay right in. Mm -hmm. Did you... Um, once you got out of the Navy, did, did you ever um, do any traveling? Um, well, as far as I could drive a car, yes. Okay. Yeah. All right. And uh, are there any other stories or incidents uh, that uh, you'd like to touch on? Uh, uh, well, uh, of course, uh, Everybody knows uh, we crossed the Atlantic and uh, with the Germans and the uh, ships, and we had general quarters every morning and every sundown. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, I used to take my uh, my life.
life jacket, my helmet, I'd go up and sleep up against the stack where I got some heat. Uh -huh. said, boy, it was cold. It's, uh, if you don't know how to pray, when you cross the, the Atlantic in November, you know how to pray. And I was up in the Bering Sea, and you learn how to pray up there too if you don't know how to pray. Uh -huh. it was up, I was up there on the minesweeper for like shakedown. Yes. Mm -hmm. and boy, I'm telling you, you. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Now, uh, that minesweeper, you said you mentioned a shakedown cruise. Yeah. Were, were you what was known as a, a plank holder? Uh, oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. We went down, uh, made a, a shakedown from uh, uh, Bremerton, Washington to uh, uh, San Diego. Mm -hmm. And we worked with the submarines on the sound gear. Yeah. Of course, I had nothing to do with that. I was down in the engine room. But anyway, then we went up to Frisco and we picked up three more minesweepers and a tanker and we headed out to Pearl. Mm -hmm. uh, during that shakedown cruise, did you encounter any serious problems with the ship? No, the ship ran beautiful. Mm -hmm. And we were lucky in a way because our captain, uh, he did a lot of yachting, sailing, you know, big boats. Uh -huh. And he was quite familiar with handling uh, uh, ships, you know, that size in the rough water and so on. He was a great captain. Mm -hmm. Okay, do you know whatever happened to him? Or? No, I couldn't tell you. No? No. Um, did you get called up at all for the Korean War? No, no. No. Okay. No, no. Mm -hmm. All right, and uh, Sorry. Um, I, I think that uh, about concludes the interview. Is, yeah. is there any anything else you'd like to add? No. I like military life. I'd like to stay in there. Mm -hmm. but of course, I got this thing from my mother. So uh, my brother didn't get killed, but he had a leg blown off. Oh. And uh, she wanted there, you know, and there's sure. one other boy. So uh, I, I took the discharge and uh, and uh, come home. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, thank you so much for your interview. Oh, it's okay. I hope it helps somebody or something. Gee, the other day you missed, there was a submarine man right across the hall here. Uh, I don't know what happened to him. Oh, maybe he's still here. He might be still here. Uh, sometimes if they come in and they're bad, they ship them to the hospital. Oh, I see. But you can ask one of the girls. Okay. They should know. All right. Thank you, sir. <coughs> That's okay. Anytime. Yes. You know what? Uh, let me take the camera and I can... Uh, I can zoom in on that uh, photograph of you and your your discharge. Okay, go right ahead. Okay. Mm -hmm. I I was I had camera work for a hobby, the still camera. Uh, oh. Uh, my wife and I, my last wife, uh, still 35 millimeters. Uh, see, there's one of my pictures of my deer there. Okay. Yeah. It's going to put him scratching between the ears. <laughs> <laughs> We had nine cameras. Yes, I think that that'd be a good thing for a lot of these young men today. To go into the military, go yes. Into the military, yes. Uh, I really, I, I liked it. I had, I had bad times. It's not all good times. Yeah. I got thrown on an island with just a can of, what do they call them, rations? Oh yeah, like sea rations? Yeah, they had a can of them, a bag of them. Oh, God. Okay, uh, that uh, picture of you in uniform, yeah. uh, do you recall when that was taken? Was that in basic training? Or yeah, that was uh, when I come home from boot camp. Okay. And I had uh, 30 days and I had to go from my house to uh, Bremerton, Washington. I took a bus. Did, did you get uh, any kind of leave time uh, before you were sent to Washington? Uh, no, I don't think I did then, no. no. Okay. All right, well, again, thank you for your interview. Okay, it's okay.